What's up there, YouTubers? There's a uh, new video update uh, right here. Um, this is where we're at on the Merc. It's uh, sitting in the spray booth drying. I had to use some uh, oddball stuff today. I've uh, never used watercolor before, but uh, it's not too bad. It went on pretty nice. Um, still got to have a clear coat put on the car. But uh, I used the... Um, Createx and fast color. Um, I had to mix fluorescent, raspberry, and pearlized purple with a little little bit of um, white pearl to get the color correct on this car. And then uh, you know, I just used the Propel deal there. I didn't want to break out the compressor to uh, to spray it, but uh, it came out pretty good um, on this piece here. See, I had to put that little corner piece in right there because after looking at the pictures of the car that I'm doing, the uh, the nose is missing that piece uh, because it opens up and it's a, a sort of a half a half front uh, half front quarter there, and that matches up with uh, with that when it when the hood closes. So uh, that's uh, that's the update on that. Uh, there's another update with music. Uh, that's probably going to be on before this one. You've probably seen that already. But uh, yeah, this is the work area. It's sort of a mess. It always gets messy when I'm uh, when I'm about to spray. So we'll get that cleaned up tomorrow. But uh, let's take a take a walk into the uh, into the office the game room. Uh, I'll show you what I got coming up here. I got a few uh, few new cars I went out and bought today. I see Jimmy bought the uh, Chevelle. I was going to buy that one, but um, didn't do it. <laughs> I just uh, I was looking for a set of headers for this car that I'm doing now, but I couldn't find them. This is a chassis on that car. Uh, that's for the Merc. Uh, underneath came out pretty nice. Oh, got music going there. Anyway, um, this one here I thought was plastic. But it's not. The body is metal, but everything else is plastic. It's a tester's kit. Model T bucket. I'm going to do this one. Uh, it's going to be later on. I bought this one to take the headers and put them on this, but I couldn't get them to fit. So I'll just do that one. You know, that'll be later on. That'll be my, probably my last one that I do. Next kit. Um, I got uh, a tip from one of the guys here on YouTube. Uh, I picked up this... 66 Chevelle. I got this at, um, hold on, let me turn this music down. I got that at um, Best Buy. No, not Best Buy, uh, Big Lots. I picked that one up at Big Lots, and uh, he was right, five bucks. Um, they had <laughs> about 50 of these for five dollars a piece, and I got the uh, the donk also. The only thing that was the last donk, and there was no instructions with it, but I think I can figure it out. i uh, never done one of these here, so give it a shot. See what it turns out like. And then, uh, like I said before, I still got the firefighter to do, and I've got the Mustang convertible underneath that. But um, my cousin called me from Georgia yesterday. And she wants me to build her a 41 uh, Willys Street Rod. So that's the next one that's going up on the chopping block. I don't know if I'm going to do anything fancy to it. Because uh, she likes the car as it is. But uh, maybe I'll do some custom paint on there or something like that. So in that order, it's going to be uh, Willys Street Rod. Then it's going to be the uh, 64 Mustang down there. I'll get the Street Fighter done, then I'm going to do the Chevelle, and then I'll do the Donk, the uh, 94 Chevy Impala Super Sport. But uh, I'll get some crazy stuff going on with that. Uh, let, me, uh, let me let you guys know about a couple things that I found today. I was at um, Michael's Arts and Crafts, and I came up with uh, a few things that you could use, and you might uh, save some money. Um, if you look here on this, 
don't know how close I can get without getting it blurry, but if you you could see the um, the braided um, radiator hose going down to the engine. Well, I picked this stuff up. Verico uh, metallic cord. I got enough here to do about two or three thousand models, but it looks just like braided hose. Just cut it off as you need it. I use crazy glue and glue, glued it in place. It works pretty good. I hope that helps you guys out. Here's that custom steering wheel for um, for the Merc. That was a real pain in the butt. I cut the steering wheel off the original one and then made that insert on there. And uh, it's pretty pretty damn close to what the guy's got in his car. Uh, that's that. Uh, next thing I got was uh, elastic line. So if you have to run any run any hoses or anything in your uh, engine compartments, this works good. It glues real nice. Um, it's one millimeter, and it's about I don't know ten yards on that roll. It was about ninety nine cents I think. Next thing, colored wire. Um, it's really thin, so it, it works good for spark plug wire. I don't know if you can see. I've got some wires here cut out. This is going to be for the uh, spark plugs on uh, spark plugs of the distributor on the uh, Merc. But it comes in all uh, cool colors. You got red if you're going to do red and black for your battery, um, and whatever else you can use it for. That was, uh, that was a little pricey. It was like 4.99 for those, but. I'll keep them, keep them in the supply. Um, I think think that's it. Um, I'll show you a couple of my son's things that he's he's got completed. He's working on a uh, he's working on a uh, a MiG 31 right now. He's got all the uh, the bombs right there going on. Uh, he's into the airplanes. That's the MiG 31 Foxhound. He's doing that one next. But he just uh, he did this one here which is pretty sharp. It's a Mustang 3. And then he did the helicopter, which came out really cool. I'm afraid to touch it. I might break it on him. But he did all the weathering on that himself. And uh, we're going to JaxCon uh, in Jacksonville, Florida on the 14th of February. Uh, that contest there, that's a money contest. So I hope we... Uh, Hopefully he gets a, a prize for something here because, you know, he's got some skills too. This little kid, he's only 12 years old and he's making me look bad. Um, anyway, that's all I got uh, for today. And I'll be updating you guys on the uh, the completed Merc when, uh, when I'm done with that. Maybe tomorrow. I'm off work tomorrow. So I will get that one done and uh, let you guys see it for now. Peace. Happy Super Bowl Sunday. See you.